Australia's biggest retailers are using artificial intelligence and facial recognition software to battle retail theft worth millions of dollars a day. While AI may be effective in reducing the legwork of preventing crime, experts say privacy legislation is lagging decades behind. It's in your pocket, in your home. Alexa, play music for studying. And now it's there when you go shopping. Retailers like Woolies, Big W and Bunnings are using a software called Aura to catch criminals. It's a combination of looking at the data that's been captured by the retailer to then suggest if that's the same person or people or group that are working together. CCTV of shoplifting or assaults is uploaded. Aura analyzes names, dates, times, behavior patterns, clothing, and crucially, faces. Image matching is one of those ways that they can choose to use um, to identify the same person. While AI may be doing the digital legwork, Aura says humans are still in control. So it's just suggesting the same person to an investigator to actually review uh, and confirm. Police forces around the country are receiving information gathered by retailers via Aura. We're not using the AI or facial recognition capability. It basically is a substitute for what we would normally do in relation to going to a business and collecting the CCTV. Aura can also analyse information shared between big retailers, giving the AI a much wider scope. So retailers that are tracking you in store, uh, doing that uh, when that reveals who you are um, or other aspects of you and then is shared outside that organisation, uh, that can be a, a breach of the Privacy Act. Artificial intelligence is developing faster than most of us realise. That means we don't always know when, where or how it's being used. The federal government wants to regulate AI based on the risk posed by each piece of software. Bunnings, Kmart and a software company called Clearview AI have already come up against Australia's Privacy Act for their use of facial recognition. But even so, the rules are far from perfect. We're probably about 20 years behind where Europe and other countries are in terms of the rights that we have as consumers with regard to our private information. For now, artificial intelligence continues to get smarter by the day. James Viber, ABC News, Canberra.